Today, we're gonna make probably my second favorite dessert pre-keto. Definitely my second favorite dessert. We're gonna make bread pudding. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Welcome it. to today's recipe video, take two. Yes. <laughs> we tried this and never turned the record button on. I don't know how. Somehow I forgot to hit the record button, so this is the second time filming this video. But don't worry because it's just as good and the food is just as tasty. Maybe better. So like I said, when I was growing up, I had a second favorite dessert. Your first was tiramisu. My first has always been tiramisu. Gotta love tiramisu. Have not yet figured out how to make a good keto version of tiramisu. Probably that's a good thing that I haven't figured that out because I'd eat it every day. But no, growing up, I would say probably my favorite dessert because we ate it often. Yeah. Was bread pudding. Why? Because that's what you did with leftover stale bread. When the bread was going stale, you either made croutons mm -hmm. or you made bread pudding. And I would rather have bread pudding because... Dessert. Uh, sweet tooth. Yeah. Right? But since keto, we never thought we would have bread pudding again because no. there's no bread around and there's no bread to go stale. And right. then we discovered Maria Emmerich's PSMF bread. Yep. And the one thing that people kind of complain a little bit about it being kind of over too crusty actually is what makes it perfect for bread pudding. Yeah. Now I have tried to make keto versions of bread pudding in the past using things like, you know, almond flour or coconut flour or the psyllium husk and and they just never work Didn't because work. as soon as you soak them in the liquid, they would fall apart. But Maria Emmerich's protein sparing bread just soaks up all of the liquid. And really, it came to me to make this when she suggested that we make the French toast. Yes. Because that's kind of what bread pudding is. It's like a baked French toast, You're right? You're just letting it sit in the, in the batter, in the wash, longer, way right. longer. And here's the thing. This is a ridiculously easy recipe. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. So you are saying that I could be responsible for like the really pretty amazing Christmas dessert. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You actually, the hardest part of this whole recipe is making the bread and you actually recently made it in one of our vlogs. I don't do think, it. depending on when you see this video, that vlog may not even be out yet. But Rachel actually made the bread and was amazed at how easy it is if you have something like a KitchenAid stand mixer, yeah, right? Yeah, because, you know, if you're like me... It does all the work. Yeah, and you're not used to cooking, especially baking. I feel mm. like baking is another skill set that is just above the everyday eating. So right. I was afraid of our stand mixer. I yeah. never used it pre-keto. And it was so easy to make this bread that now I feel like a pro. Well, let's go over what we're going to need. So obviously, the first thing you're going to need is some of the bread. Maria Emmerich bread. Now, this is a half a recipe. I'm gonna leave a link for these low pin. This is, if we're not making this like baguettes for like meatball heroes, uh, this is how I like to make it. Instead of having the big loaf, we make it in this. And this is a half a recipe. So what you do is you can get these pans. I'll leave a link again down below and you got two of them. I wanna say it was like nine bucks, but they're perfect because look at that. Everything comes out super easy to clean. And one recipe perfectly makes two of these. And this is how much you need for this recipe. So it's gonna be about a half a recipe, okay? So we need some bread, obviously. Now what we're gonna do with the bread, to save time, I've already done it. You're going to take it and you're going to cut it up. You can either use a knife or the way we did it when I was a kid where you would just take it and like rip pieces. Right. So that it's like all like different sizes. Because again, it would be like leftover bread anyway. 
Again, you're gonna end up with about four to five cups. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your oven for about 300 degrees, put it right in the casserole dish just like this, and we're trying to kind of dry nice out toasty. the bread a little bit. You don't wanna get it burnt, just kind of dry it out a little bit. But we're gonna put this to the side. After that, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some egg yolks. We're using six egg yolks. And Finally. guess what? We can use them. We're using a half a recipe of the bread. The whole recipe for the bread uses 12 egg whites. So six egg yolk, egg, six egg whites for the bread, six egg yolks for the pudding part. I love it. We need some allulose. Uh, you can use Swerve, but I personally, I tried it. I don't think it tastes as good. It gets a cooling effect. So if you are going like to want more sweetness, my suggestion would be use the amount of um, allulose that we're gonna tell you and then up the sweetness using uh, either like liquid stevia, liquid monk fruit, or liquid sucralose. We're gonna need some vanilla extract. Which I'm all about. I love the smell of vanilla. We're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. Okay, then here's what we're using. When I was making it growing up in pre-keto, I always used half and half. Half and half's got a lot of carbs in it. And I know you're gonna look at the container and see it has one carb per serving. Well, heavy whipping cream has zero carbs per serving according to the container. Yeah. When you multiply it out. Tablespoon. It has more than double the carbs. I wanna say like a half a cup of it has six carbs as opposed to a half a cup of heavy whipping cream has three. So instead of using half and half, we're gonna use the Maple Hill Zero Sugar Milk. If you don't have access to this, you could also use coconut milk and it really doesn't alter the flavor much. But we're gonna need the Maple Hill Zero Sugar Milk, full fat version, because again, remember the original recipe was half and half, which is half milk and half cream. Yeah. Okay. Optional is some cinnamon, but again, for me, bread pudding is kind of like a French toast, so I want cinnamon. But some people have allergies. But yeah, you don't have to have the cinnamon. Are you ready? So we'll put all that to the side. Let's get going. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a bowl right below our camera. In that bowl, you're gonna add six egg yolks. It's a piece of the bread that just flew in there. Six egg yolks into there. It's so different without the whites, right? Yes. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of allulose. Then we're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Just enough for my coffee. Okay, now all of the macros are gonna be linked down below. I do wanna say the macros that we have down below, the macros that are gonna be on the website because that's where you're gonna find this recipe. That's based on using the ingredients we're using. If you change anything up, for example, you don't use the Maple Hill Zero Sugar Milk. It'll change things. It's gonna change the macros. The macros are based on what you see us using here. Now here's a little tip. We're gonna take that cup there of the heavy whipping cream. We have one and a half cups of the Maple Hill Organic. Don't wanna miss any. And we're gonna just kinda pour it in here first to kinda get some of that heavy whipping cream Slosh out. Slosh it around. So two cups of heavy whipping cream one and a half cups of the Maple Hill Zero Sugar Milk. Put that off to the side. We need one tablespoon of vanilla. Did you just put your finger in the vanilla for our food? I did, but, but we're gonna eat it. Then we're gonna put some cinnamon. I would say about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm not gonna really measure it. I'm just gonna kind of dump it. because like it's cinnamon. I meat. love cinnamon. Take a hand mixer. You can do it by hand if you want. You're gonna get this all mixed and combined. Okay, that's good. Now from there, we're gonna take this mixture and we're going to pour it over our bread. This is my kind of cooking. Mix and pour. Now what we're gonna do is just take like a spatula and what you wanna do is soak it. Keep pressing your bread down. Now um, you can always use a little bit less mixture. You can keep out some of the bread. Sometimes what I'll do is, except for I know exactly how much I had here, what I would do is hold some of the bread out and just in case you don't quite have enough mixture, 
you can add more back in. But if you once you put it in there, it's kind of there. Right. So I'd rather keep it out and then add in making sure you have enough of the egg mixture. This is like guacamole. So like it, every single time it tries to float up, you're like, no, you're right. going down. And just keep pressing. You want to press down hard. The whole idea is to get this to really soak up. And this bread can take it. Yes. Now, once you have that all done, what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up. We're going to stick it into the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours, preferably overnight. Then afterwards, we're going to actually take that mint and put it into the oven, 325 degrees for 50 minutes to an hour or until you put a knife in the middle and it comes out clean. The hardest part of this recipe is the waiting. That's right. So you've got that done. What we'll do is we'll put that in the refrigerator. And one thing I would say is every once in a while, maybe when you go to the refrigerator to make dinner or something like that or Did in the morning, pop up, just kind of go in there maybe and give it a little stir or press it down to make sure everything is soaking up all that egg mixture. Get back in there. Okay, so this has been in the refrigerator overnight. We're gonna pop it in the oven now, 325 degrees for 50 minutes. through the magic of television, because we've already made this before. <laughs> right. We've got one already made so we don't have to wait 24 hours. And you can take a look at that. I mean, look Beautiful. how good that is. You can see all the pieces of bread, but it's just got that nice pudding consistency. Now, again, your serving size is dependent on you. How much do you want? We're gonna cut this into probably eight pieces, whatever you can manage if you wanna try to go 12 be my guest you know i would probably say you can even get it into 10 pretty easily so let's see oh look at that that looks so good okay so we'll put that to the side oh smell that vanilla look at that. okay but here's the thing you know how bread pudding needs to be served Bread pudding needs to be served with like an amaretto sauce. Problem is amaretto, not too keto friendly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna top it with a little bit of this goodies maple syrup. Not a lot, just a little bit to give it that flavor just like you would put on toast. Um, wetness. Anthony says this stuff is better than any regular sugared version of maple syrup he's ever had. That was I like praise. hard to believe that he said that. Yeah. Uh, you can also, if you want, you can use the Walden Farms. We have it. Once in a while we use it because we just want no total carbs. It is a bit of a science experiment. But it tastes really good. Another option is the birch benders. But once we found this, this is kind of like the go-to. It took so first place. We're just going to put just, just a touch on there. Maybe like a half a serving, not even a half a serving. Just a little bit to give it that flavor. And then we recently discovered this. We don't have a spoon, but... Cool whip. Cool whip. We're going to use cool whip. But this is a keto version. True whip. Of cool whip called true whip we have a review on this i will leave a link for that right over and look at that look Gorgeous. at that is that not delicious looking perfect brunch option great for the holidays but you don't have to wait until thanksgiving or christmas nope. you can enjoy this every day of the week right gotta gotta dink it oh this is so good looking dink home run Really, really good. It's like French toast. And you're getting your protein in, which is wild. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It is really tasty. Now, I actually made this at one point mm. without, like, letting it sit in the refrigerator for all night, just, like, four hours. It was a lot more liquidy. So the yeah. longer you let it sit, the more that soaks bread it. just soaks it up. So you can see, like, this is actually falling apart, but you have that pudding in there. So good. And this is how I like it. So it's almost like a breakfast now. Look at that. It's really good. No one is going to think that this is mostly comprised of egg. Yeah. Like, there's no real bread in here? What, are you kidding me? Nobody's going to know. Let us know down in the comments section if you try this. Let us know also, what was your favorite dessert pre-keto? And what is your favorite dessert? Like, you know, we have holidays coming up. What yeah. is your favorite keto dessert now. Uh, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're going to put 
right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye. bye.